everybody had a good Thanksgiving and that they had an opportunity to read some of the amazing comic books that came out last week and kind of take the day off. You'll notice that we did take almost the entire week off and it was glorious and we really needed it because we got to read some comic books. Yay! So today we're doing Thor versus Hulk Champions of the Universe, which is always kind of interesting if you ever kind of wondered who would win. You know, I still have my, my I still think it's going to be Thor. I mean, it's a thing. What's interesting, though, is that this is a Comixology original. It's writer Jeremy Whitley and artist LT for Messiah and Irma Kernavale for The Colorist. Um, just kind of an interesting way of looking at what would happen if you put them in a arena and see what happens. What's interesting, though, it kind of starts off with this aside, and I can't really figure out why they put this in here. But we kind of have this little group of people called the Aid, and they are the people that can control the universe and make sure that war doesn't happen and blah, blah, blah. Well, we all know that if you just look at our history, well, <laughs> it must have been a long time ago. Um, so what ends up happening, though, it looks like you have this one survivor of the whole thing, and she gets taken in by a big guy with, with orange hair and kind of a, I don't know what color that is, plum, plum kind of colored skin. Gets to look at all the things, and then she runs into Thor and the Hulk. All right, she has a big gun. Nothing wrong with big guns. All right, but what she does, though, she tries to figure out what the heck is going on here. And our purple face dude shows back up. And what she does is she says, hey, you know, y'all got to stop fighting, so I'm going to put you in an arena. And that's basically what the rest of the comic book is about. It's a very short comic book, but it is all about Thor and Hulk and purple face dude and her just rocking it in an arena and trying not to blow everything up. But that's it. So you really don't know who wins. It looks like in the end, it looks like the Hulk wins, but I had my money on Thor because Thor is awesome. And that's kind of where we end up with this comic book. You know, overall, the coloring's okay. The lettering is great. Um, I just, it feels kind of choppy. I'm bringing in on, on number six of six, so I don't really know what the storyline happened beforehand. So a lot of the characters are new to me. And I'm really not too sure why we have that aside at the beginning. But, you know, that's kind of a thing when you're picking up the, the last comic book in a series and you can't find the rest of the comic books in the series to save your life. And you kind of pick it up, you read it, and you're kind of like going, hmm, I don't know. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe someday comic book people will give me a quick synopsis at the beginning of a comic book, maybe a page or two. Here's what happened in the previous episodes. Otherwise, I think we're in pretty good shape. I really did kind of enjoy this comic book. Um, and it was just kind of fun, just if you ever wanted to see what would happen with the Hulk and Thor in an arena, well, then this is the one you want to read. It's actually okay. The coloring and lettering are great. The storyline's interesting, at least, but you have lots and lots and lots of pages of people getting blown up, and then they end up on a farm. They end up as farmers. Uh, Hulk ends up as a farmer, and I don't know. So that's the storyline. That's comic book review. Kind of interesting. Kind of like, okay, well, damn, you picked this up in the middle of a comic book series, and you're kind of reading the last one, so you don't really know what was going on here. But... You just wanted to see what would happen if the, Thor, the, the Hulk and Thor decided to take it on and you weren't really too sure what it would end up looking like. Um, it looks like the Hulk becomes a farmer. But lots of destruction. Good times. So again, this is Comics Forge on YouTube. We're hoping that you all subscribe and like and watch the videos and otherwise have a good time with it. Hope everyone has a great holiday season. So don't forget to subscribe, like, and all the rest of it. We're still working on our getting to 10,000 views, and that's supposed to be quite a challenge, and that's okay.